Hi guys, it's me again. So for those who don't know me, I'm just going to introduce myself all over again. So my name's Huma, also also known as Hooms. So today my video is going to be quite different. And I did get a, quite a few requests on doing a review of the new Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm only going to try it on half of my face so you can see how it looks on one side and see how it looks with that foundation. That way like I'll be able to tell as well how it does look on my face and the complexion of it. So I purchased the foundation on Saturday. So it's been a few days now so the packaging looks just like this. I'm just going to open it and show you guys what the bottle looks like. Looks like. So that's that. I really like the bottle, like the design and the way it is and also the way the Huda Beauty is written on it so that's quite nice. I'm in the shade Latte which is 300N which is just like that. So with this foundation um, came along was a primer like this. So what I'm going to do is try the primer on first and I'm going to, if that's fine with you guys, I'm going to put a little bit of primer on. So I'm going to do it on the left side right okay so the primer has got a scent to it it smells a bit like perfume and to be honest it is a little bit thick so I'm just gonna apply a little bit on see that's the thing like I wouldn't want my primer to have like a scent like this and especially it being thick I'm not really a fan of like thick primers because obviously my primer has always been um, thin to give it a great fit like start to my foundation application but girls might like the smell of it I'm not saying it's bad, it's nice, but obviously I'm not used to using a primer that's got a scent to it. So I'm just going to wait like a few minutes. As you can see, I've already done, I've already pre-done my makeup, so I've done my eyes and I've done my brows. So for my eyes, I did use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which is over here. I used the pink tone one to my, to the foundation now. Okay, so because the foundation is quite thick, and it does dry up quite quickly. I'm going to put a little bit on and just blend it in straight away. Because obviously if it dries up on my skin, it's not going to blend in nicely, is it? It's not going to have that amazing look. Right, I'm just going to start off like that. I'm going to use my Zoeva brush, which is in the number 103. It looks just like that. I really like it for blending my foundation. It's really good. So I'm just going to do that. You know, the foundation is actually quite thick so I don't need to wear double layers like some of my foundations I double layer it sometimes but with this a little bit is fine and it blends in quite nicely I'm actually liking the feel of it and look even though it is thick I feel like it doesn't I, it doesn't feel that thick on my skin so I can just get away with it like the whole day and it will still feel good so I am in the shade Latte, it is a little bit lighter but because I'm going to contour my face at the end it will look really good. The foundation has a scent to it as well, it does smell like perfume too. It's not too bad but obviously I'm not used to having scent inside my foundation. So most of you got girls will probably like the fact that it's got scent in it and it is quite different. The scent is really nice actually, it gives like a proper HD look doesn't it? <laughs> so back to my brush. Blending, blending, blending again. Easy with this foundation, it blends in really quickly actually. I don't use um, brushes for my to blend my foundation in. I really I usually use the sponge, Beauty Blender. But that's if I'm using my other foundations like my Estee Lauder Bobby Brown. But with this one, I prefer using a brush because a brush blends it in quite nicely and gives a better complexion to my face. Right, as you can see, I've blended that in. So this side of my face, I've got the foundation on. See, this side has got foundation, and this side is without foundation. There's not much of a difference, actually. I'm just going to blend it in a little bit more, actually. So there's not much of a difference um, with and without. I mean, obviously, my pictures will come much nicer because it is Fox Filter, so that would be really good. And... Yeah, so that's exactly how it looks. I'm just going to come a bit forward so you can see. It actually, it actually is really nice. It gives like a nice HD effect too. It's quite flawless, isn't it? 
is a bit, little bit sticky and thick, but that's fine. I mean, you can apply powder. So that's that. On this side, actually, this side is not <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it on um, my right side as well. I might as well complete the look and just do it all over my face and contour my face and highlight it just so go just so you guys can see the finishing look and how it looks with the full face done or my full face done so yeah that's that i'm gonna add a bit more primer on this side as i haven't already i'm gonna come a bit closer so you girls can see i have to be so careful so i don't get any makeup or anything on my hijab <laughs> Trying to be careful, but yeah, you know, I'll get there. Right, so that's the primer done on this side. Coolio is gonna pump some of the foundation on my cheek. Right, just a little bit, as I said before, not too much because you don't want it to look a lot or too thick or cakey. I mean, some of you girls probably lo like the Keiko look. I do as well, but not every day. I mean, this is good for like events or, you know, if I'm going somewhere nice. So this is perfect for that. And you know what? In the beginning, I was like, I'm not really sure about the smell, but I'm actually starting to like it. You, that you, you will get used to it. And once you get used to it, you'll like it. I'm just gonna blend it in like that. Okay, I'm not gonna blend it in too much because it's blended in already quite nicely. This is actually the first time I'm using my Zoeva brush, this one right here. I love it. I'm just gonna apply maybe like two pumps on my forehead because it's blended in from the bit that I put on before on my left side. And I don't want it to get on my eyebrows. on my hair but that's all right I'll clean that after so that's that guys that's my full face done off the foundation I actually really like it now it's so different compared to my other one other ones that I use this gives my face a really nice look honestly I'm loving it next time I might go for a shade darker so I might purchase Amoretti as well just to see how that shade looks on my face you know I'm a makeup junkie, so I don't mind purchasing another. <laughs> it would be quite nice. No, but once I contour my face, my face will blend in quite well and look really nice. So that's quite good. So that's my foundation done on my face. It's all set. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I apply my contour and do the rest for you, for you guys. So yeah, that's that. I'm just going to touch it a little bit. It feels nice. It is quite thick, like I said before. But... I don't really mind the thickness of it because I've only applied one layer. I don't think I'd apply two. So yeah, moving on, I'm just going to complete the look on my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just contour. Contour, contour, contour. I love a bit of contour. So I'm just going to use my contour stick that I've got over here. And I'm just going to... And do it. So I'm gonna be quite pinky today. Right, so that's my contour applied on my face. I'm gonna get a blending sponge. I prefer to use a blending sponge to blend my contour in. I feel like for me, it comes much more nicer on the face. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the left side. I tried to purchase the foundation actually from Cult Beauty but it was totally sold out. I kind of colour matched my shade myself. Because if you go online you can match your colour from different brands. So as you can all see, um, I've done the contour on my face and I put some lippy on as well. So the liquid lipstick that I wore was the Huda Beauty one in the shade Trophy Wife. And I feel like the foundation has proper made my face pop, so my eyes, and it's made my lips stand out quite nicely as well, which is really good. So I'm just going to do a swatch on my hand of the foundation.
So I'm going to do a little swatch on my hand just so you girls can see the actual shade of the foundation. So that's the shade. Then again, it's in Latte 300N. So yeah, I feel like this is my new favourite foundation now just because it's made my face really, my face really pop and that's really good because I'd like that especially when I'm going to work. I, re I would really like that look and especially on the days I'm out. So if you guys did like the video and the review and the demo, just give me a thumbs up and you can leave a comment below. Also, I will take a few pictures and I will be uploading them on Instagram just so you can see the actual look and the way the foundation has set. You can find me at whoms.r, so then again, that's on Instagram at whoms.r. So yeah, that's me for today and also one more thing actually. <laughs> um, if you do have any questions in relate in like related to the foundation or any of the products that I've used, you can feel free to message me on Instagram or you can leave a comment below. Also, if you girls have used the foundation, you can just message me as well and just let me know what you think of it and that would be quite great. So take care guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend and I shall see you soon. Take care. Bye. I'm doing.